For these questions, we're going to show the value of money in expanded form. So we're going to find the value of the money by counting the money and then writing it in a way that will show the value of each individual digit. Before we do that, let's talk a little bit about money and how it relates to our place value system. Sometimes people call the tenths place the dime spot. And some people call the hundredths place the penny spot, which would make the dollar bill in the one spot because it's one dollar. Let's talk a little bit more about why they call the tenth spot the dimes and the hundredth spot the penny spot. And we can look at that by thinking about a dollar and that it takes 10 dimes to equal the dollar. And that's because of the same thing we've been learning about place value and the relationships between spots. When you move from the one spots to the 10 spots, you are going to the right and the value is getting 10 times smaller. You're dividing it up into 10 parts. And that's what happens with a dime. You divided a dollar up into 10 parts because now you have 10 dimes. But those 10 dimes, if you add them up, still are the same as a dollar. Well, then we can go to the next place value as well, to the hundredth spot. So now in the hundredth spot, it's gotten 10 times smaller than a dime because it was divided by 10 again. So for every dime, we've broken it up into 10 parts because it takes 10 pennies to make a dime. It takes 10 pennies to make this dime and 10 pennies to make this dime and so forth, all the way through the 10 dimes that it took to make a dollar. So if you go straight from the ones place to the hundredths place, you haven't really divided it by 10, but you've divided it by 10 times 10. So you've divided it by 100. And when you think about pennies, it takes 100 pennies to make a dollar. So we've learned about how the tenths place is just the ones place divided into 10 parts, and the hundredths place is just the ones place divided into 100 parts. And so if you understand that, you can understand why sometimes people call the tenths place the dimes place and the hundredths place the pennies place. So let's look at some examples now. So let's look at number one. First, we have to find the value of the number. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. We have 73 cents. And that's what it could look like in standard form. But you can also write it in expanded form by showing the value of each digit. So this value isn't really worth $70. And this value isn't worth $3. It's actually worth seven dimes and three more pennies. So when we write it in expanded form, we have to show that seven in the tenths place because it's like seven dimes, seven tenths of a dollar. And then to do expanded form, we need to add on the other place, the three. And this time we have to show that the three stands for th not three dollars and not three dimes, but three pennies. And how we do that is we show the three in the hundredths place. In fact, the word cent has a root word meaning a hundred. If you think about it, century is a hundred years, percent is out of a hundred. The word percent means hundredth. So when you see 73 cents, what you're really talking about is 73 hundredths. If you added seven tenths and three hundredths, you would get 73 hundredths. So let's look at number two. Here we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So now we have 37 cents. So that means we would have three dimes and seven pennies. The value of three dimes is three tenths, and the value of seven pennies is seven hundredths. Remember, you have to put that zero in the tenths place so that your seven actually goes in the hundredths place. So your value would be 37 hundredths. So let's look at number three. 
Here we have 33 cents. So we have 33 cents. In this value, we could have three dimes and three pennies. So in expanded form, it would look like 0.3 plus 0.03. You do want to be careful when you're adding money and you're thinking about place value. It's not necessarily the number of dimes you have is going to equal the tenth place. Let's count these dimes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dimes. You can't put a 13 in the tenths place. The tenths place is only one spot. If you did try to put 13 here, what you would have now is 13 hundredths. And that's like saying 13 pennies because the pennies is the hundredth spot. So if you did that, you would have to be careful and you'd have to think about what does this actually mean? You would have to think about how 10 dimes makes one whole dollar. So what in this case, what you would really have is one whole dollar and three more dimes. So you would have one and three tenths would be that value. If you wanted to write it in expanded form, it would look like this, one plus three tenths. And the same thing with the pennies. Here we have 13 pennies. You couldn't write a 13 in the hundredths place. If you tried to do that, you would either squeeze in two digits into one place, or you would wind up with a digit in the thousandths place. So you have to think about is 13 pennies is really like one dime and three pennies because 10 pennies makes one dime. So if you were going to write that, you would have to put the one dime, even though it's pennies, it equals the value of one dime and you would leave the three in the hundredths place. So you go ahead and try some and if you need to rewatch the video, come on back. Good luck.